Yeah, so all that's left from that entire feast is a stack of empty plates. <laughs> Have dinner tonight, my first real night in Phuket. Um, actually, spent the day here, got to go to the beach, so of course, I'm starving now. And I found something that caught my eye. Uh, there's too much traffic, you know, to show you right now, but it's like the kind of place that I usually tend to like, where it's like an emptied out courtyard and then the, the stalls are around the area. Usually, those are good places to go. Um, it'd be cool if they take credit card, but I doubt it by looking at it. That's the street right there, and when you come in here, there's like a little narrow area, and then it opens up into this big, big courtyard. So, I love places like this because you always find like good food here, and uh, I asked them, they actually take a credit card here, which is awesome. So, I'm going to look through the menu real quick. They got a lot of stuff. It's a big menu. Um, a lot of seafood, prawn, lobster, a lot of stuff, fish, a lot of fish dishes. Looks very good. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy looking through and getting some food because I'm very, very hungry. I saw a beef salad, which is kind of like Nam Tuck. I might have to get that too. Okay, so three things have caught my eye. Um, I'm gonna do the noodle soup, shrimp, chicken, and pork to start with. And then they have Penang with beef. If you've ever had Penang, it's a delicious, delicious curry. And then I'm gonna do the, instead of Som Tam, I'm gonna get the beef salad. So it's like a Som Tam, I'm thinking, but it's gonna be a salad. And one thing really cool about this place is that they actually have the Muay Thai fights on in the TV over there in the corner. So dinner and a show. And actually, uh, I should check what time it is. I think it's around like maybe eight, maybe seven. But um, at nine o'clock tonight, there is a Muay Thai fight. So I'm gonna see if I can go there after a dinner. And uh, you know, I haven't gotten to see that yet. And you know, what better place to do it than in Phuket, you know? Battle of, the Battle of Phuket. So the, the chicken soup just came. It smells so, so good. Oh wow, that's really good. And it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. But that's really, really, actually really good. Wow. That broth is delicious. Like, honestly, like, really good. Like, oniony. It's really oniony and scalliony. But it's so good. I'm really happy I got this. It's like, uh... It's almost like a pho bowl, but it's so, so good. So, I'm gonna enjoy eating this. I got a little hot pepper. That's really good. And then the little fish sauce. Yeah, that broth, honestly, is so good. I'm glad I came here. These kind of places where you uh, you come into the courtyard like this and they have the stalls around and stuff, it's always a hit. Like, I'm always finding really good food in these kind of places. All right, so the rest of the food came out. And actually, the portion sizes are pretty good here. I was kind of like, I don't even know if I could finish it all. But that's the Penang curry with beef, sticky rice, and then this is the uh, beef salad. It's kind of like, it's not num tuck, but it's, it's similar to it. And uh, yeah, very good. I'm gonna, I wasn't planning on it, but I might have to do a separate food review just for this place because this place is really good. And if you're a traveler, they've got a big menu, so they got everything covered for you. And they take credit card, which is hugely helpful. 
So I'm gonna find out the name of this place and tell you about it because this could be his own video. I mean, this is really, really good. Like this soup alone, this is like better than any like, better than any like pho I've had, like pho ga chicken. This is like better than a lot of places that brought. I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely like a soup kind of sore. I love like the noodle soup, probably because I love that so much. This is one of the best, one of the best broths I've had. I'm gonna try the uh, Penang now just to get a little taste of it. Mm. Very good, not too spicy, really, really good. And let me try some of the salad. I told her to make it a little more spicy because I like spicy. Oh yeah. So good. Wow. I got a big chunk of cilantro on that, but I love cilantro. Oh yeah. The place is delicious. So don't don't let the sweaty face fool you. I'm in heaven right now with this food. And it, it's spicy with the way I like, you know? Sometimes they're, you know, they see a uh, white guy firing, they, they don't make it spicy enough. I was like, please make it Thai spicy. And it's perfect. And this salad is so refreshing. Hot soup, a little salad. Perfect. I love this place. A Penang curry. It's so good. It's really, really good. Where are the flavors of this? Like every bite keeps getting better with the flavor. I didn't think I was gonna be able to finish that first, but like it's so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill everything. And uh, I'm gonna fire the name of the place. I really, really like it a lot here. Um, so now when I'm in Phuket, I think I found my favorite restaurant so far. Yeah, so all that's left from that entire feast is a stack of empty plates. I was just, uh, I saw a white couple walking by a second ago. They were kind of like hesitant looking at the menu and I'm like, Trust me, like, this place is really good. The flavors, the flavors here are so good. Like, I, I love cilantro and onion and that kind of stuff. So that's probably why I started off on the right note with the soup. But it's like, the the sauce is here. The, the sauce really makes or breaks the dish a lot of time for the flavor, you know? Like, obviously the meat has to be cooked a certain way and you know, everything, but you know, you have to have the right flavors there. And the salad, the soup, especially the soup, and uh, and the, the the beef penang, it was so good. You know, it was so so good. Uh, I really have to find this place again to come to, and I, it, I love places like this where you just kind of are walking around, you just stumble in and find it, and you know, don't go to places that are too commercial looking. Go to places that are like obviously like local run. You know what I mean? Don't go to like the the tourist spots. Go away from like the main tourist street couple of blocks down and find like where like you know real people eat real good food that's where you find like the most delicious meals that I've found so far anyway here and in Europe so yeah this place is so cool um, they gave me a free they gave me free fruit as a dessert it, it, he just brought it out to me like I you know I gave him my car to check out and everything and he just brought me some like free free fruit it was so nice um, so nice of them you have to do that like, I was just thinking like I might need to get some fruit when I'm walking out like walking home with a little sweetness and he brings it out like how cool is that bear with me um, this is not this is not a low budget production this is a no budget production